Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today's video is so exciting. It's been four years since I graduated high school. My sister's currently in high school and her prom's rolling around. Unfortunately, I didn't get a prom since I graduated in 2020, but we're gonna change that. And I had a funny thought of what if Sheen had prom dresses? They do. I scrolled for a little bit, I picked out five, and I ordered them right to my house, and they're here. So today, I'm gonna be doing a try-on haul of five, are these their five? Sheen prom dresses to let you know if you really have to spend all that money, or if you could just head on Sheen and pick your perfect dress. Looking at them, I don't know if that's gonna be true. I will put the pictures up of the prom dresses that was on the model compared to me. I'm also gonna try them on for you and talk to you while I try them on. When I do try-ons, I don't typically talk, but because it's a special day. I'm gonna talk to you guys so you know exactly how they feel on me and if they fit at all, if they look like the picture, that kind of thing. So there's gonna be a lot less of this kind of filming and more try on. Let's get right into the video because I have five prom dresses and I'm eager to get them out of my house. <laughs> For size reference, I'm five foot nothing and typically in between an extra small and a small, I think I ordered all of these in extra small. Sticking with the brunch dress theme that I see so often on TikTok and also because if I was gonna keep any of the dresses, it would be this one. This is the first dress. Right off the bat, I can feel the top is very thin. It is see-through there. There is slight padding at the boobies but not too much there is no straps on this this is strapless here is the gown it is actually pretty decent quality this whole thing of course is see-through but there is a nude slip underneath it's not terrible quality the flowers are kind of giving printed a little cartoonish they do look a little uh, on the cartoon side to me overall this dress does not look terrible but let's try it on First one going strong, I cannot get the zipper up. Here's what we're dealing with. I do have an issue sometimes where my back is too wide. I just think the zipper won't go up. I did say if I was going to keep one, it would be this one. The dress is not uncomfortable whatsoever. It's actually super comfortable. Would that change if I could zip it up? It might be too tight as I already kind of feel some strain here this next dress is a very similar concept to the first one it is also strapless this one is giving a lot more in the breast area she is overcompensating for us she's working overtime there this middle part is see-through the band around the bodice actually feels very good there is a grip material on the inside so that it can grip to your body that was something that was kind of missing in that first dress now let's move down to the actual gown part this is an entirely tulle dress i do like this dress i do think i could possibly wear it as a wedding guest dress it's not too much saying that i have not put this dress on i am going to be trying this on for the first time with you guys so there's no fake reactions here. The underneath, completely see-through. Everybody's seeing your whole everything. Your everything. You're seeing everything. So that is a problem. There is no slip underneath here. The dress kind of ends right here. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know if I could try it. That's lingerie. That is that's lingerie. That's straight lingerie. What are you supposed to do there? Like <laughs> It does zip up the back, and I did get this one in an extra small. So let's try Miss Revealing. We'll call her on. This is prom dress number two. It's actually pretty. There is no slip underneath of it, so if I'm dancing around a prom, you know, and this bushel of ruffles goes to the side, you're flashing everybody. So this is probably not a good prom dress the cups are way too big for me but that's a me problem it is super pretty part of me is mad that it doesn't have a slip underneath because this has potential to be beyond a prom dress a wedding guest dress that kind of thing besides this being freaking huge on me we did get the zipper up on this one we're doing better so here is the slit there is no fabric underneath of this there is this kind of continued lace from the bodice going down that's not covering anything so again probably wouldn't be the best dress to wear the tool does feel like if I step on it it's gonna rip but I feel like that's just 
tool that's just what it is i love the color looking in the mirror the fabric in the front does kind of compensate for the fact that there's no slip but i am turning around and i can see my whole booty if you're okay with that i mean go for it put on a nude pair of underwear you're good for a high school prom absolutely not i would say you're gonna get kicked out two seconds into that i had to get a tight dress of course that is probably the most in style from what I've seen from my sister trying dresses on and also going to the prom stores and seeing other girls try dresses on. They like a tight dress. I was a ball gown girly. My junior prom dress was a ball gown. I wore a tight dress to Dylan's senior prom when I was a junior and I hated it. I hated my life. I couldn't eat. I'm, I'm not a girl to hold back. I, I could not eat. This dress does have straps and it does have a corset back. Something I really liked when I was purchasing a prom dress was that it had a corset back because it could be adjusted, you could eat, you could sit, you know, you could just loosen it a little bit if you needed to. This dress is entirely sequined from top to bottom. Did you hear my stomach? I'm starving. <laughs> the underneath is completely nude. I feel like that will look kind of cool on it might not look great because it doesn't actually match my skin color it is silver and blue and it does have a slit it does have a pretty pretty big slit given i'm short that might i might not be able to try this on for you anyway there's not much to say about this as it's very kind of basic i want to say let's go try it on dress number three this one It's giving. I don't know what, but it's giving. So we have a zip up the back as well as a corset, which probably does not look the prettiest because like I said, I did put it on myself. This dress is incredibly itchy. It's itchy at all the edges. So here, here it's itchy. And it's not very flattering on my body. <laughs> I just feel like this dress is contouring all the wrong places <laughs> given it is almost that time of the month, so. A little bloated. The colors themselves go together. I do feel like Elsa. Now that I'm looking at it, now that I can properly see it on, it looks like Elsa. Like, let me get as far away as possible. Here it is. It's actually not bad. The design on it is not bad. I don't like the contour. I don't like the way the dress lays on my body, but Again, that's a me problem. That is not a anybody else problem. The design's cool. It is really strongly reminding me of Elsa's castle. Very much. It does look cool. I will I will give it that. It does look very cool. It's just very, very, very uncomfortable. It's not as uncomfortable as the dress I wore to Dylan's prom. That was so tight. But this is uncomfortable in an itchy way. It's very itchy. There's nothing like protecting the sequins from the skin there or on the back. I think it's something you could get used to if you're wearing this one. The slit's a little itchy too because it's kind of like hitting the skin at the edge there. I, I don't know what I was thinking when I saw this dress. What was that? What was I thinking? Did I, is this a joke? I, I feel like I was genuinely looking for good dresses so maybe this will look good on but I, I don't know man. I don't know. This is like an octopus. I do want to say these are all my own opinion. If you purchase or wear any of these dresses, this is not to offend you. I'm sure you look bomb. This is just simply not my style. It has almost like a velvet like fur feeling underneath all of the sequins here. It's not the prettiest green color I've ever seen. This is also extra small and it does zip up the back. It is an asymmetrical shoulder vibe. Let's take a look at this train here. I'm gonna give Sheen a A plus for effort because it's actually not bad quality. I just don't like, it looks like an octopus tentacle. I'm not a fan of the dress kind of transferring into the tool. I do think the tool could have been executed better. And here's the bottom. The bottom does have like a what's it called a hem it has a hem i don't think i could say anything at all besides try this dress on because um i just i need to see it on okay let's just let's see it on i want whatever 
I was on when I ordered this dress. <laughs> I don't think I can talk through this one. I don't think I can save myself. Why, why though? It does look 10 times more flattering on my body than the previous one though, I will give myself that. This. This octopus train is what's selling it for me. This is what's literally... Did this look good on the model? Like, that's what I want to know because this is... This is quite the color. Like, it's not even a good green color. <laughs> the sequins are pretty. It's... I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I don't think this dress can be saved. I don't think any compliment can be saved. Maybe it's me. Somebody's gonna come and be like, that actually looks really good on you. I don't know if I should take offense to that or not. But the train, it's the train. Like I really wish I could show you the train. Hold on. Entering vlog mode. Here's the train we're dealing with. There's so much going on. I think I need to get salt. It is also incredibly itchy. Like I said with the last one, where the edges are, there's no protection from the sequin. I think I was looking for the shiniest effing dresses because, oh my god, this one has a cape. I have no idea what this is. I have to look at the picture because I saw this and I was like, what, what the heck is this? A piece of fat. They sent me a nice piece of fabric. We need to try them on because there's just so much going on. So it is this soft faux velvet fabric here. This is the cape. Here's the main event. It's giving Ursula. If Ursula was a bad bee, this is giving. This is definitely not the worst. I'm not going to say out loud which one is the worst. It's the green one. I think we can read minds here. Again, we're working overtime for Itty Bitty's committee, so that's giving. We do have a mesh cut out here for a little revealing look here. It has that soft fabric underneath these sequins again. I don't like that. that I think that's weird. I, When I look at a prom dress, I don't think, oh, soft and cuddly. I think, I know that hurts you but you look amazing. We have a slit in this one. It's kind of giving purple Jessica Rabbit. Just a little. Very sparkly purple Jessica Rabbit. Anyway, that is our last dress. Let's give her a little try on, shall we? I cannot breathe. We are finally on the final dress and I said it came with a cape. It comes with a train. You have to put it on yourself and it is squeezing me so tight. It is hugging me like I never knew I wanted to be hugged. <laughs> I think I was playing a prank on myself. I genuinely do because I'm putting all these dresses on and I'm like, either they looked good on the model and I, you know, kind of got blindsided by that or I knew they looked bad. So I was like, oh, let me get them and try them on for fun. So part two. Is gonna be a redemption because this is a mess this dress is not terrible the green one was definitely worse it is a little tight I should have gotten a small it actually doesn't feel as tight yes I'm gonna take our little train off here wow that just fixed it that just fixed it so that train was the problem it looks and feels ten times better without the train this one is also very itchy especially when I put my arms down at my armpits are getting all sorts of scratched up so do I recommend any of these prom dresses that is all the prom dresses I have for today that was quite the roller coaster Sheen does keep their prom dresses available throughout the entire year so if you would like to see a part two this was actually really fun to make it was really fun waiting for the dresses and anticipating if they're gonna look like the picture or not if you'd like to see a part two of this make sure to give it a thumbs up because I really had fun doing it and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you do like any of these prom dresses and want to shop them of course I'm gonna link them on my LTK because I'll do anything for you guys as always if you would like to see more everyday content make sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it and I hope you have a fabulous day and if you're going to prom please send me your prom pictures please DM me your prom pictures on Instagram I would love to see your dresses 
prom makes me so excited and I am so sad that I didn't get to go my senior year so help me relive and send me your prom pictures because I would love to tell you how gorgeous you are to tell you that you are giving to tell you everything you want to hear because I will give it to you because I'm sure all of you are gonna slay anyway thank you so much again for watching I hope to see you in my next video I love you all have a fabulous day bye